Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video. So normally these videos hit on the weekend, but this week was special. I had heard from a developer that there was uh, multiple deals that were probably going to hit around March 1st. Although some deals did start, it wasn't quite as big as I was expecting. But nonetheless, that's why we're doing the video today on a Tuesday rather than normally the Saturday or Sunday that we normally do these videos. So if you're new to the series, this is basically a weekly series where every week we look at what are, in my opinion, the top deals on the Nintendo Switch eShop. So basically all great games to pick up at great prices. Now, this week's video is going to be another big one. We are going to be looking probably at around 30 games that are currently on sale and that are great pickups in my opinion. Now, we also are going to be doing a little bit of a reset button because we are going to be looking at some games that were mentioned in the previous week's videos. Normally, I don't do this, but some of these games were in like a week or two ago in the videos. So I think it's time to mention them once again. So we're going to do a reset button and we're going to go through really all the top games in my opinion. Now, this week's list is really interesting because there aren't a lot of huge AAA games, but they are a lot of really awesome indie games and really indie games at all the price points. And for those deal hunters that really like cheap indie games, well, I've got a few spread out throughout the video, but you're really want to going to stick till the end because the last five to eight games are all under five dollars. And they're really great pickups if you're looking for an easy to play budget title. Now, the last thing before we get started, as usual, don't forget that if you like these videos, the best way to show your support is to hit that like button. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, the first entry on our list is a new entry, not only to our list, but to the eShop because it just came out last week. And that is Curse of the Dead Gods. Now, the deal isn't huge. It's only 10% off, dropping the game to $17.99. But since this game just came out last week and it's been getting some awesome reviews, I've tried it out for just a few hours and I've got to tell you, this is an awesome roguelite game. Now, I know we're getting a lot of these lately and this one obviously has a lot of visual inspiration from Hades, which was pretty much the best one in the last few years. But... Honestly, this is a really good game in its own type. And if you really like roguelite games, I seriously think you should invest sometimes into Curse of the Dead Gods. You won't regret it. This is a very solid game. Now, the next game on our list is right next to it, and it is one of my favorite 2D platformers on the Nintendo Switch currently, and that is Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. And right now, it is 75% off at only $7.49. And basically for the size and quality of this game, it is amazing. This is basically like getting a full-fledged Donkey Kong Country game for only $7.49. Because by the way, it was developed by the team that made the original Donkey Kong Countries. And the polish and gameplay is just as good in my opinion. Once again, if you need any more convincing, this is another game with a free downloadable demo. Give it a whirl. It is an amazing, amazing experience. Now, the next game on our list shifts totally styles, and this is The Escapists 2. Right now, it's 75% off at only $4.99, making it an ultra-budget title for this week. And basically, The Escapists 2, you can tell by the title, you are locked in prison and your goal is to escape from prison. This is actually a game that is even more fun in co-op, because if you're playing with someone, you can actually play helping each other, trying to escape quicker, or basically competitively seeing who will escape first from the prison. It is some really addictive gameplay and it is a great, great value at only $4.99. Now, The Escapist 1 is on sale as well. I'll mention it quickly when we go buy it. But honestly, if you're going to pick up one of the two games, I would seriously recommend the second one because it is the more polished and sort of better rounded game of the two. But the first one is also on sale for about a dollar less. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Moving Out. So it's another awesome game to play in co-op. You can play alone, but I would say that the best experiences with this game are in couch co-op. So right now, since a lot of people are locked inside and we can't really go out, if you have someone to play with, this is another great game to pick up, where basically you have to move furniture out of different spaces into trucks and different locations, and basically, it goes crazy and zany, where sometimes you're 
moving furniture out of a moving plane, floating through space, and all kinds of crazy environments just like that. And right now at 40% off, $14.99, this is one of the lowest prices the game has been offered to. On top of it, it just came out at the end of last year. And since this is going to be a thematic this week, because a lot of games, this is another one with a free demo. So you can always check it out on the eShop yourself before buying it. Now, the next game on our list is another new entry to the series, and that is Moonlighter, which is basically a action RPG with slight roguelite elements. You're going to hear roguelite a lot in the future because right now it's sort of the type of gameplay that is really in right now. But nonetheless, Moonlighter is one of the better ones once again. And at 70% off for only $7.49 once again, this is another definite one that I would check out. This has a more retro feel to it and a more Zelda-esque dungeon crawler feel to it at the same time. So if you're into that type of gameplay, rather than the Hades type of gameplay, I would definitely recommend you check Moonlighter out. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a demo, but nonetheless, at $7.49, it's generally worth taking a chance. Now, the next game on our list is pretty much always there when it's on sale, and that is Worms WMD. If you like strategy games, you should definitely take a look at the Worms series, and WMD is one of the best entries. Once again, this has a massive sale at 75% off, once again at that magical price this week of $7.49. And in this game, basically you take control of a squad of worms. Yes, worms. And they're equipped with various high-tech weapons, ranging from tanks to rocket launchers. And the simple goal is to eliminate the opposing squad of worms. It sounds simple, it sounds funny, but trust me, the gameplay is addictive and it is very, very deep. So this is another game that I seriously recommend you check out, especially if you're into the strategy type of gameplay. Now we spoke about Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Now we're looking at the first entry in the series, which was just entitled Ukulele. It's also 75% off. However, this one works out to $9.99, so a little bit more expensive. However, it is not just the same type of gameplay as the previous game that we looked at on the list. This time, this is a 3D action platformer, sort of in the Banjo and Kazooie type of gameplay. And by the way, those developers worked on Banjo and Kazooie as well, which is why that's such an awesome reference point, because this is really like a spiritual successor to that Nintendo 64 game that never got its proper successor. And if you're looking into a 3D action platformer, Ukulele is one of the seriously awesome entries at under $10 right now. You cannot really find a better one than that at the moment. Now, the next game on our list is going to be an awesome FPS game, and that is Crisis Remastered. Now, this game just came out at the end of 2020, but right now you can get it already at 40% off for $17.99. Now, this is a sale that comebacks regularly on the eShop, but every time it's up, I recommend it because Crisis Remastered is one of the best FPSs that we can get on the Switch. Now, it's not quite as good as more modern entries like, let's say, the Doom franchise, but nonetheless, it is a ton of fun and it is a great port that we got on the Switch. A lot of people were wondering for years if the Switch could run Crisis because this thing used to chew up GPUs back in the day, well, the answer is yes, the Switch can run Crisis. Now, the next game, we're shifting totally types of gameplay and we're looking at a traditional JRPG, and that is Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Dana. Now, this game right now is 60% off for $23.99, but this is a JRPG that you can sink probably close to 100 hours into. The Ease series are huge traditional JRPG series, and the ninth entry should be right around the corner. Unless it gets delayed, it should be expected sometime in 2021. So this is a great time to play the eighth entry in the series. There's a reason why the series made it all the way up to eight. It's because pretty much every entry is amazing in its own right. And the series just keeps getting better and better. So if you want to play the best available one for the moment on the Switch, Ease 8 is a great value at only $23.99. Now, the next game that I want to take a look at 
is a game that I am super happy to finally see have a massive sale. And that is Yoku's Island Express. Now, I actually loved this game when it came out and I played it. However, at the $20 price point, I did find that the competition was a bit steep for this game. But basically, Yoku's Island Express is a platformer with a really, really original premise. It's that all the gameplay happens as if you're in a pinball game. Yes, a pinball game. But honestly, if you give it a try, this is a game that will really surprise you and that is a ton, ton, ton of fun. And normally at 75% off for only $4.99, this is like the perfect time to pick this game up. I was really looking forward to this game being on sale so heavily because now it becomes a top purchase in my opinion. Once again, free demo if you need to play the game before you decide to drop the $5. But trust me, if you're into platformers or pinball games, Yoku Island Express is a definite great game to pick up. Now the next game we're going to take a look at is a strategy JRPG. And right now, the whole Disgaea series on the eShop is on sale. That would be Disgaea 1, 4, and 5 are all on sale for $19.99. Now, these are huge strategy JRPGs. When I say huge, it's that you can sink as many hours as you want to. Because the levels in this game don't stop at 99, they stop at something like 999. These games are immense. However, in traditional strategy JRPG format, they require a generally a ton of grinding. The series has gotten better with the evolutions. Like if you if you choose to buy the first entry, there will be a ton of grinding. At the fourth or fifth, it's been toned down just a bit, meaning that if you want to go through a more linear progression, it is a little bit more accepting of that than the first entry. But nonetheless, if you love strategy JRPGs. The Disgaea series is an incontournable series on the Nintendo Switch. It is probably one of the largest series currently available that has regular entries. And if you're unsure about which one to try first, I would generally jump right into the fifth one. Once again, downloadable demos for most of these. You can try them out before deciding to purchase them because they are a little more pricey at $19.99. But nonetheless, this is an amazing series to check out. We're not going to go into details of, into each one of the games, but just know that the first, fourth, and fifth are on sale right now, all at the same price of $19.99. Now, the next game on our list is going to be an ultra-budget entry, and that is Dadish 2, that right now is 60% off, dropping the price to only $2.40. Now, if you like strategy platformers or puzzle platformers, Dadish 2 is a series that you should definitely try out, especially at the price it's being sold. It's excellent value for 50 really fun colorful levels basically you play as a humanoid radish that has to save his 50 kids that have gotten lost throughout 50 different stages what's new in dadish 2 is there are also some auto run levels which is a nice change of pace i actually have a full review on this game on my channel so if you want to check it out check out the videos on my channel dadish 2 in my opinion was a definite pickup now, the next entry on our list is going to be Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Now, this is a retro JRPG, but rather than a huge JRPG, this is a relatively small one. Most people, I would say, will manage to finish it in about 10 hours of gameplay, which makes the price of $6.99 when it's 30% off feel just about right for what you're getting out of the game. But what is best about Cthulhu Saves Christmas is, number one, the gameplay is very solid and very much fun but at the same time the storyline is just too too funny i love the humor in cthulhu saves christmas because you're basically playing the god of destruction that actually has to save santa to get his world destroying powers back <laughs> it sounds ridiculous but trust me the storyline is funny as heck now the next entry on our list is another ultra budget title and that would be ghoul boy because right now at 80 percent off for only a dollar 99 this is an excellent action platformer to pick up. It's a very straightforward and traditional action platformer, but it's got some really solid gameplay and some really fun gameplay. And this game even made my top list of basically action platformers that are under $10. Because even at its full price of $9.99, I normally would recommend someone pick this game up. 
However, the sale comes around very often where it drops it to $2 or less. So when it's at this price, to me, this becomes a definite pickups for anyone who's into retro, basically action platformers. Now, the next game is another game that I love to see a price drop on, and that is Rad Rogers, the Radical Edition, that right now is 83% off at only $4.99. Now, visually, this is a beautiful retro platforming shooter. However, I'll be honest, it is not the best on the console, and at its regular sale price of $30, I would normally give this game a pass. Like, I would not recommend this game. But when it drops on sale like this for $4.99, if you're into retro platform shooters, this becomes a really decent buy. Is it the best one on the Switch? Definitely not, but it has its own style, and any game that has some inspiration from Duke Nukem is definitely going to get some attention from me because I grew up playing those games and I love the character himself. So Rad Rogers, I would definitely give it a try if I'm really into this type of gameplay and I was looking for something new. Now the next game on our list is actually a pack which is Langrisser 1 and 2, the remake. Now, basically, these are traditional JRPGs once again, and they are strategy JRPGs to be more precise. The gameplay is maybe not the most modern of the games I'm suggesting on the list. So I do want to suggest these games, but with a warning. Make sure that you're into the retro style of JRPG because the gameplay does feel a little bit dated, but if you like those styles of gameplay, you're going to love Langrisser 1 and 2. And right now at 40% off for $30 for both entries, this becomes, in my opinion, a awesome deal. Number one, they are huge to finish. You have hours and hours and hours of gameplay to sink into these games before you actually finish them. The storyline is a little bit old school and cheesy, but nonetheless, I still really appreciated this series and I enjoyed playing through the games. Right now, if you need more convincing, and I know it's a recurring theme for this week, but it just worked out that way, once again, there is a downloadable demo for these games. And I would recommend this time trying the demo before purchasing it, unless you really know you like that retro JRPG style. Now, we've still got a ton of games left, but we're getting to the last JRPG on our list for today, and that is The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. Now, this game is 40% off, dropping the price to $35.99. It is expensive, but it is a huge JRPG once again. You have over 100 hours easily if you want to do everything you need to do in this game. However, it does come with a slight warning. To really fully appreciate this game, it's much better if you've played the first two entries. However, even if you haven't, there is a lot to see here. But I do want to put that warning out because they do a lot of callbacks to the previous entries in the series. However, nonetheless, the gameplay is extremely solid. And this time, forget the cheesy storyline. These characters are really deep and they resonate with a lot of people. So you've got a really awesome storyline, in my opinion. Once again, and I you probably see it coming, downloadable demo. can always give it a try. So the next game that I'm going to be suggesting on our list is actually a collection, and that is the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. Now, SNK is most known for its fighting games, more uh, precisely the Fatal Fury series, for example. However, SNK is a all-rounded arcade company as well, and this is basically more of its arcade hits all throughout the years, and they've basically selected some of their top games from each decade. Now, at full price $40, there are way better collections to buy on the Switch. But when it falls at 50% for $19.99, if you're into retro or arcade experiences, SNK 40th Anniversary Collection definitely becomes a much better purchase. And so far, SNK has already added two games as free downloads to their collection. I don't know if this is something that is going to continue. I seriously hope it does because... If we look at some other collections on the Switch, as I said previously, this one doesn't always seem like the best value, but if they keep adding free downloads to the collection, it becomes a top-notch collection. And what's great is you get a little bit of everything in this. You get space shooters, you get side-scrollers, you get beat-em-ups. So there's a little bit there for everyone. 
If you're not too sure, you can go online and check the exact list of games that are on the collection out. But once again, at $19.99, this becomes a pretty serious suggestion. So now we're pretty much at that promised section of the video earlier, where we're going to be looking at the last few really cheap indie titles. Now, most of these titles will all be under $5, with just a few exceptions being around the $10 mark. And the first one that I want to take a look at is Robonauts. Now, Robonauts is basically a blend of a platformer and a twin stick shooter. It has some really awesome graphics and however, the game isn't that that long. However, at a sale price of only $1.99 because it is 50% off and even at its full price of $4, I still found this game to be a ton, ton, ton of fun with some amazing visuals and also some really original game mechanics because you're basically all playing on these tiny little planets. Once again, free downloadable demo, check it out. Now next, we have another extremely cheap pack that is amazing value, and that is the combo pack of Bleed and Bleed 2. It is now 85% off, dropping the sale price to only $4.19. Now these are basically some more really great action shooters, but this is more with a bullet hell type of gameplay. Honestly, the Bleed collection at its full price, $28, there are definite better purchase on the Switch. But for both games at under $5, if you're looking for something really cheap to sink a few hours into and just have some fun gameplay, I definitely recommend you check the Bleed collection out. It is extremely worth it when it's on sale like this. Now the next game on our list is a game that I love, and that is Metagal. It is basically as close as you can get, in my opinion, to a Mega Man clone without risking copyright infringement. Now, I've heard from some people that they said the level designs weren't as good as a Mega Man. Of course not, because Mega Man is a classic series. But nonetheless, I found the gameplay very interesting and it's a ton of fun. And right now for only $2.99 because it's 40% off. In my opinion, if you're into the Mega Man style of jump and shooting, Metagal is a definite game you should check out. It is nonetheless more than worth it at only $3. Now, the next game on our list is one of the exceptions that is more around the $10 mark, and that is Val Ferris, which is basically described as a heavy metal 2D shooter, and it really matches its name. Number one, the soundtrack is amazing. Number two, the visuals and gameplay are a ton, ton, ton of fun. And this is pretty much the cheapest it gets outside of when the pack of this and Slain goes on sale as a two game pack. Then if you work it out and divide it by two, the game does come out cheaper. But if not at 55% off at $11.24, in my opinion, this is an amazing game to pick up. It made my list of the top 30 2D platformers on the Nintendo Switch at under $30. Now, I just mentioned it in the previous description of the last game, but Slain is also on sale right now at 75% off for only $4.99. Once again, another amazing heavy metal soundtrack to go along with this game, but this time rather than a 2D shooter, it is a 2D game with melee combat. So if you prefer the old school Castlevania type of melee combat, then Slain Back From Hell is a definite game you should check out. Now we get to the other exception that is around $10, but that nonetheless is an amazing indie game, and that is Fury Unleashed. Slight warning though, this is a very difficult game. There are difficulty levels that you can select, but nonetheless, even at its easiest difficulty, I consider Fury Unleashed being for someone who really appreciates difficult platformers. And this has a rogue light system once again built in. I've tried to describe this game in the past, but it has amazing visuals, amazing weapons. Basically, to me, it feels like what Contra would have felt like in a rogue light format. Now, the last two games on our list are regulars on the series, but nonetheless, they are always awesome when they're on sale like this. And the first one is Odalis the Dark Call. Basically, it's like a midpoint between the old school Castlevanias and basically Symphony of the Night. If there would have been a midpoint between those two games, Odalis the Dark Hall would have probably what looked what it looked like. Because basically it has the old school 2D Castlevania gameplay, but it has some RPG elements thrown in because you'll carry equipment, you'll be able to level up your weapons and whatnot. 
And right now at 70% off for $3.59, this is a definite one that everyone should pick up that who loves retro platformers. Now, the last game on our list for this week, as I said, is another regular entry, and that is Onikin the Unstoppable Edition. That is now 70% off at $2.99. Now, this is another classic 2D platformer, and it really feels like an NES game made with modern mechanics thrown in. Basically, you have it all. You have side-scrolling stages. You even have motorcycle riding stages. Onikin is an amazing package, especially at a $3 price point. So anyone, once again, who loves retro platformers should definitely give Onikin its chance. It is one of the best entries at under $10. But now that is pretty much it for this week's list of great eShop deals. Now we'll be getting back to the regular program of this video coming out more on a Saturday or a Sunday. Like I said, I tried to get a jump on the deals that were upcoming. Not so sure it was worth it this time, but nonetheless, we'll be getting back to our weekend schedule. As usual, I always like to hear from all of you. Let me know what you picked up this week. Are there any games that you would seriously suggest I try and include in future lists? I love to hear from all of you. And the last thing as usual, just before we go, don't forget that if you did like this video, the best way to support the channel is to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.